Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 following my career. Fuck what great subsidiary of SD Logistics as we continue our Congrom Britain journey. Uh, we are in Ireland in Newry and we're about to head back to the UK or back to England. So uh, let's get on with it. Let's go. So we are picking up exactly where we left off last time. Newry in Ireland, Northern Ireland. And left. we've picked up a job from the same point that we dropped off at to make it nice and easy. And we have got... I'll bring it up. Let's have a little look at what we've got. Get ready to turn left. Apparently it was registering us on the wrong... Left. We're nearly out of fuel, so I need to make sure I do that. We've got canned tuna. 18 tons of canned tuna. I don't know why it took me so long to do that. 18 tons of canned tuna. Um, six, uh, nearly seven grand for the delivery, and we are heading to uh, Port Madog. Now I'm taking this one on because we've not been to Port Madog. It's somewhere where we've been trying to get to. What's going on here? Not a wide enough berth, are you? Try and swing it around from here. Not a good start, but you know what? That's how it goes sometimes. Didn't realise we were so close to the to the box. There we go. Now we're through. Craziness. So are we taking a left out of here? I guess. Turn yeah. Left. And then left again. So this is a bit of a last minute job for me, this one. Um, partner has uh, had to change her shifts, so there won't be a stream today, obviously. So I am recording this one uh, <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> recording this it's early Saturday morning. Hopefully things are going to be quiet uh, just while we do this job. <laughs> I'm hoping that after I've got this recorded done, that things are going to be quiet, that I can um, have a little stream on Moss Valley, so we'll, we'll know how that went, won't we? <laughs> but yeah, I hope you're well. I uh, hope I find you well on your Sunday. Hopefully uh, your summer is going well, if you are in this hemisphere. If you're in another hemisphere, hopefully your winter's going well. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay, but what I need, what I need is fuel. I'm not going to worry about trying to catch the viewpoint here. We haven't got it yet, so it would be nice to get, but just move over. We ain't got time for it today. We have not got time for it. Man, this is loud. I'm going to have to sort this out in editing. <laughs> and it's because when we were streaming previously, like the balance is so off on every game. I go over this sort of stuff a lot. Balance is off on every game. We were, I think we were live the other the other week, and like no one could hear the game, and then no one could hear me, and now it's <laughs> it's completely the other way in my head. Like it is so loud. Take the second exit. So I need to keep an eye on my GPS to where a fuel station is. We are frightfully, frightfully low on fuel. We may even run out. It won't be the first time we've run out, but we may run out of fuel. Yeah, I think it's the first. No, it's, it'll be the first time on Euro. I think I've only run out of fuel on ATS. Hopefully, hopefully it won't. Hopefully it won't be that embarrassing. We'll uh, we'll have to check the map, I reckon, to turn right. so we can uh, prepare prepare ourselves for failure. What we need is some good lights, yeah, so we can try and keep rolling through them. Make ourselves some better distance. Oh, we don't want these ones. Come on, green. These will change as soon as we come to a standstill. See, knew it. <laughs> knew it. <laughs> I 
I feel like we're playing Snowrunner again and I'm worrying about fuel. <laughs> fuel is all we worry about, it's all we talk about. I'm surprised you don't dream about it. It's such a worry all the time. So we're going to go back through Nuri Town Centre. Merging over, mate, to sue you now. With any luck, there'll be some sort of fuel station, gas station, petrol station, whatever terminology you like to use. Hopefully, there'll be one in town that we can fit in. I don't think there was. If we not, we probably would have gotten fuel on the way in. I feel like he wasn't indicating, or I just probably wasn't looking. I was watching him around, I didn't see the indicators. And as he was then coming past that junction, he was indicating left as if he was uh, taking that exit up. So, who knows? Someone will know. Someone would have caught that. Rewind. Hit it on a rewind. Right. Ain't got no one coming this time. Oh, we're getting a frame stutter. I am doing some <laughs> some Saturday morning weekend updates in the background, so we might get a few of them. I do apologise. I know there's quite a few games on my uh, Steam library need an update. I've not done it. I've not really done much here for... Oh, my wheels suddenly going a little bit funny. I haven't done much here this week, really. Um, to the point that we've got no content next week, of course. <laughs> At this point, of me sitting here recording this, we've got no content next week. So that's just sort of how that is. I haven't had the time, and when I have had the time in the evening, I'm absolutely shattered from the days that we've had. Exit like, now. With the kids and stuff and what have you. Keep left. I think the only free evening I really had. Uh, I spent um, making that little um, spinach video. Farm sim. No fuel station. Okay. <coughs> Worrying. Worrying indeed. Look at that. Just above my head. All red above my head. What have we got up ahead? What have we got? Right. Is that Dundalk? 14 miles? I don't think we can get 14 miles. We have a uh, border crossing. Into Ireland. Into proper Ireland. <laughs> That's right, we're on the morning coffee. It's, uh, it's early. This is an early recording. It's crazy. No, the, to the point is, time has been so flipped with what I can get to and do. I think, I think it might have been last weekend or early this week that I was uh, testing FS Landscape and, and Lady Hill map at like six in the morning because it was the only because we were we were up early and things were. <laughs> sort of sorted and things were quiet and that was the only time I knew I'd have to do it that day 6 o'clock in the morning map testing oh there gas station please service station come on Cruising, just cruising, doing 51, we have, yeah, 51 miles an hour, nice and easy, easy cruising speed. I'm sure if we cycle through on the dash, it's something that will tell me. How many, there's nowhere, nowhere that tells you, like, estimated, well, that's how much we've got, is that, is that 80, 85 litres? It's loads. 85 litres? 84 litres. How quickly is it going down? Oh no, now that I've found it, I probably don't want to watch it. <laughs> I 
We're going to have a countdown to our demise now. I'm going to leave it up. In case you're not sure where I'm looking, it's there. 82. Oh, can we can we make it into wherever that is? Wherever there's... Um, fuel. There is fuel in there, right. We need to uh, try and come off. Oh, I could have gone straight through, look. Please let me get to the junction. This is the one where I didn't see it come up. It shut up so quick when we came through. I mean, some of the viewers when we were streaming it saw it, but I didn't see it. I was probably looking off elsewhere. Come on. Oh, we should make this. We should make this easy. Easy. What are we worried about? What am I sweating for? What am I sweating for on a Saturday morning? Sweating over fuel. Honestly, that's what, I'm, that's what I normally do late at night. So there's some point in the week. Sweat and worry about fuel. Services. This is what we need. Okay. Let's find a new route. Let's find a new route. Indeed, no one came for us a roundabout. Of course, we're going left. Geralt's gonna get annoyed at us, but finding new route. Do one of these tell us it's you? This is us. Right, we need to find my way. Recomputing in this way. Get some gasolina. So I normally do. I normally try and do the get the fuel and up and stuff uh, in between. I'd, I'd sort of kind of forgotten that we needed the fuel. Let's just turn that on. Cross over my arms, because why would you do it the easy way? My head's in the way. You can't even see how much this cost if I swivel the chair a little bit. No. Costs a lot. Because we are empty. This is £1,079 worth of fuel at um, 1.4 or £1.48. A litre, and we've got 729 litres. Oh, there's someone bibbing me. Mate, I'm getting fuel. <laughs> oh, dear. Bro, I'm just fueling up. I'm hardly... Hanging the ass. Right. As if, as if we're getting fuel and there's another driver behind us bibbing us. Oh, dear. Right, we're good now. We're good. Off we go back to Wales. Back to Wales. Oh, that might mean that next time round we might get another little job. If I get another little job to that farm in Aberystwyth, I'll try and cycle it through to day daylight. <laughs> Let's see if we can get up there again in the day. To our rally route. In the truck. While we're here, while we're chilling, I'd like to thank you all for the support the last month or two. Um, we've had, I think I said this before, we had quite a few new subscribers. A lot of that's coming off shorts, so they probably will see a lot of this content. But we've also had viewers and subscribers join from uh, the regular videos as well. So that's been nice, nice little bit of growth. Uh, so I do appreciate that. Thank you very much if you are here watching this as well. And especially if, if you're a, a long time viewer, obviously you guys are some of the most important people here because you help to carry the channel you help to keep it moving you help to promote the content and uh, i much appreciate that i really do because some days it is i mean this is this is a hobby and it should never be hard to do your hobby i've always said that like if it's not fun then stop doing it or take a break left and then continue straight. and that's that's why there's gonna you know, going to be months, or well, not months, hopefully not months, but going to be weeks where sometimes there's very little content on, because I'm not going to keep pressurising myself to have a video every day, uh, because it's just not healthy. This is a hobby, I, I, I do have, you know, a, a family to look after and to spend time with and other things to do. This this isn't a, 
as much as I'd like this to maybe, I've never said a full-time job, I'd like this to be able to create like a, a secondary income, like a, uh, like a part-time job. If that ever meets that, I'd be well impressed. So yeah, I, I, I put in the hours more than I would a full-time job on this already. So to then keep piling on more time and try to force stuff out, when either I'm tired and exhausted or not in the right mood, in space and stuff like that, so it's been, uh, yeah, it's just, so sometimes we'll have three videos a week. Um, generally, we'll always have the Saturday and Sunday videos because they're quite a way in a, a head and they're always, apart from like Starfields, they're always something different because they play a different game sometimes, so it's sometimes a bit of hunting, sometimes it's a retro thing, sometimes it's me looking at something else. So that's, that's a nice change up. And I, I do that whenever, and then I just dump it on the schedule somewhere. It's, uh, there's, there's you know, often right. weeks and weeks of um, weekend content already there. It's the Monday to Friday, the, the more regular stuff that seems to be suffering at the minute, and I do apologize for that. But, like I say, it's just getting the time. You know, we've got quite a challenging four-year-old. We've got a one-year-old. Uh, my partner's just gone through some shift changes and different things as well. So, it's just, you know, time's a little bit limited at the minute. School holidays. I think I said before and I said on the stream, like, you know, I always think, oh, school holidays, great. I'll be able to get some time on it, but it never works. When you have that captive audience, not so captive audience, but when you have people that are, you know, there on YouTube and what have you more frequently, especially the younger people, don't have many young viewers, um, it would be nice to be able to get on and maybe stream while they're about, or right. put more videos out while they're about. But it's, it's never worked out that way. In three years, it's never worked out that way. been doing this yeah for three summers <laughs> for three summers we, we've never had like a boosted content and, and, and boosted growth really over the summer keep left and then exit left I should imagine we'll get a little bump when FS25 comes out I haven't put my order in yet but is it's look, looking like a guarantee now that I'll get it. There's certain things that are coming that are looking good and I'm enjoying now seeing some stuff. I'd, I'd still like to see some more live stuff, which is still what I'm putting off for. So hopefully after I've taken the wrong turn, hopefully after um, Gamescon or during Gamescon, we'll get to see some more stuff because they're putting the game out live for people at Gamescon. You can book in for a booth and to play FS25. It's a very limited version of FS25, it's not the final version. Um, so I should imagine it'll just be one map and a few tractors and you can go do some jobs. I should imagine that's sort of what's going to be presented. I might pull a naughty U-turn. Do you think I can? Here, yeah, is that allowed? Is that allowed? Probably not. But I'm not going all... Oh, it's a roundabout up ahead, so... Probably not allowed here. We've got a ferry to catch. No, no U-turn here. There was no no U-turn sign there, so we're good. And then exit left. So am I coming off here? No? Yeah? No. Up ahead. And then coming off left. Missed my light because I was worrying about where I'm going. Let's have a look at the map. Just check this. Check, 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 check this out. Yeah, so going up and right. That's fine. That's fine. We'll get there. Time for another sip of coffee, I guess. Exit left. There we go. I'm not sure if he watches these, but I'd like to say I did have a nice little back and forth the other day with Disturbed Simulations. Um, just about some stuff. Uh, it was really nice to have a little chat with someone who sort of knows 
what it's like and, and, and what's going on. Been through some things. Um, so yeah, if you do ever watch this, mate, thank you very much. I do appreciate that. Some tough times sometimes. Like, I often talk about stuff, but I don't want really to fend or go, go in too deep. I don't want to... <laughs> I'll weight the content down more than it already is. <laughs> but it's good sometimes just to let some stuff out whenever. Out of nowhere as well, just let some stuff out. Just just dump on someone. But I knew he'd understand and he'd be a recipient of it, so... It's cool. Good man. Good man, Disturb. Go check out Disturb Simulations. I talk about them all the time. Everyone that follows this channel should already be following Disturb, so... We'll show him some love. It's one of my favourites to uh, to watch. I don't always catch everything. I don't always catch the live streams. I try to. But I think for for the tutorials and the help that he puts out there, second to none. It's absolutely second to none. And it's got a nice uh, Vintage Joke series on the go. And he did <laughs> a good Sax Fork series as well. So are we just looking for a point or are we, I think we're driving onto the boat. We're driving onto the ferry. Hopefully no traffic. Oh, there is. Oh, this is the one where I struggled to find before, haven't I? We've been here, I think. I, I went the wrong way. So yeah, we're not driving onto the ferry. We have to uh, drive to the etching at the at the entrance thing there. Don't know what that's called. At the security barrier. There we go. <laughs> Checking in in lane number one. Okay. Dublin to Hollyhead. We are three hours. Let's go. Well, we've arrived in Hollyhead. It is now 8.24. It's impressive how much I can see now. I love it. Uh, what's just to go over there? It often does that, doesn't it? And what we really need to do is go around here. Wants to send you the wrong way. I guess the wrong direction. You're on the wrong side of the road. Pretty, pretty certain of it if we go over there. No, they're right, because I'm still thinking... I'm still thinking... <laughs> I'm still, still thinking on the Irish road. Right, so that was right. I was on the wrong side of the road. My fault. Good job that just raised us as a big car park. I think you'll find this is the first exit as well, Geralt. Exit now. No, I'm on the wrong side of the road again. What's going on? Why is that all feeling all a bit higgledy piggledy? What's going on? What's going on with my brain? I don't know. Je ne sais pas, j'ai oublié. It's about all the French I know, that is. I think I've covered this many a times whilst we're doing the, uh, the Euro truck. When we were in high school, our French teacher wouldn't completely downmark you if you'd forgotten your stuff, or if you'd forgotten the answer, or if you didn't know. As long as you said that you'd forgotten or you didn't know in French. So whenever I asked a question, it was always, Je ne sais pas, j'ai oublié mon cahier de text. <laughs> so, I don't know, I've forgotten my book. <laughs> and that was a mark, that was a pass mark. Excellent. You did it in French. <laughs> The rest of my French I learned from Joey and friends, I think. We all good, we're all good. See, sometimes he doesn't come on at all and give us our direction. I right, know little heads up there of 
exits or turnings. You shouldn't get no traffic because you've got roadworks, we love that. Just got a foot down a bit actually. I think that's a f no, we're on 60s now. So I think it's a 50, but it's not. We can get our toe in a little bit and make some moves. check and see uh, how how far we've got left so 47 minutes or 40, 47 miles an hour and seven minutes not too bad going on speeding slow down for the bridge so we see if we can get a little nice one for the bridge you never know it might it might work Try not to wobble it and weave it too much. Honestly, I just feel that it, to me, it feels super sensitive as soon as I go out of car. I haven't checked on our finances either since booting up. I didn't even look. We'll, we'll check at the end. We may have enough for another truck and another driver. I think we got two trucks and drivers last time. Or were we saving up to expand one of our garages? No, because our I think our Irish garage is pretty much empty. We'll have a look. We'll have a look, maybe. If we are we're good for an expansion or something, I'll, uh, I'll probably save that for a stream. Although I'm not quite sure when the next stream will be. I mean, there's no law to say that I can't stream this or put these out on a different day. It's just I've always, always, since the start of my ETS um, content. It's just always been Sunday morning. It's the only thing that's always stuck to a, to a routine and a schedule. Keep left. So I like to try and have that. I know some people like to have my morning trucking rambles <laughs> with their toast on a Sunday. <laughs> Toast and a coffee. <clears throat> this morning I just went for a banana. Banana for breakfast. I am trying. I am trying to eat a bit healthier. I'm not sure if it's really working. I try not to weigh myself. I really should. More regular than what I do. I think I've lost like two pounds this month. That's all. Two pounds, but it's, it's better than nothing. We were saying in uh, Discord the other day, you know, it's, it's not easy when you're you're stuck being stagnant because of <laughs> physical limitations and you know borderline disabilities and things. Not easy to get out and about and do stuff. If I go for a 30, 40 minute walk, sometimes that could mean I'm laid up the next day. Literally laid up on the floor. What we got going on here? Well, my dog, this is where we are. This is it. Left. Well, this is at least our, our route to it. So we are... Oh yes, yeah, stay, stay left, any. So why couldn't we have gone oh, uh, one way? I was going to say, why couldn't we have gone just one way? So I probably could have. Just shouldn't have. Are our lights on properly? No. There we go. As I say, it's duller than usual. It's always a little bit, a bit dimly lit. It was proper dim. Probably dimly lit. Ooh. Slide that round there a bit. Going way, 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 way too quick. Just because it says 50 doesn't mean you should do 50. And AO traffic sticks on rails, so they can do 50. Keep right. Keep right. Our exit here. 
We are here. Bought my dog. I guess it's just a, a little Welsh town or village. Just slowly cruise through. It's a shame we're always arriving when it's dark. Although there's somewhere I can grab a kit before we head out next time, so it's nice. A little bit of curbing to get around these uh, mini roundabouts sometimes. Exit now. Here at Tesco's, and we can't even use it's the Tesco. Can we now. use the Tesco's garage to get fuel? Was there a little? There is. We could back into that and get some fuel. All right. Not that we need more fuel now, but oh, it's turning the off. Where am I? Where am I coming in? Just gonna go in on this bit. I feel like I'm just in the car park and not actually where I need to drop off. I am just in the car park, right here. Oh, I see it now. I see it. I think I might have been on top of it then already. Where's our drop off? Round the back. Round the back. We're just doing loops in a Tesco's car park. We're 19 again. We've got the tuned up Astra. Being a rude boy. Right, where's it going? Watch me get stuck on a wall or something here. Where do you want it? Seriously, boys, where do you want this? Oh, it's right there. Did not see it. Apologies, mate, apologies. All me. All me. Right. They want me to leave this tuna on the curb outside the stall. It's a strange one, but we'll do it. Mind out shoppers. Dangerous driver about. That looks straightened up to you guys. Looks straightened up to me. Not quite. But... Oh, not at all. Not even close to being straight. Mate, you're going to get squashed. And I've got to reverse back over you as well. I just realised he forgot his milk. I said, I only came down here for milk. He's got a week's worth of shop and a new milk. He's got to go back in. Mrs. is digging him out. She's already <laughs> gone in. We've all been there. We've all been at the supermarket and been dug out by the missus. Right. There we go. We're, we're in. Handbrake. Delivery done. Drop it off. All's good in the hood. So it was 185 miles, it was nine and a half hours. We did get a little bit waylaid with um, <laughs> taking the wrong turn, or not taking our turn, and then pulling a little Yui. All right, getting closer to level uh, 31. Well, on our finances, we are over half a million, so we should be able to do some sort of improvements at next stream, next episode. I won't do it now, but I'll save it for then. I'll either do it at the start of the next recording, or I'll do it at the start of the next stream. Uh, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little one. If you have, give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos go live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Once again, thank you all for your continued support. It's absolutely awesome. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.